The LA River just this past weekend, dozens of volunteers spent hours cleaning up the central section, which has long been a hot spot for the homeless. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell is live in Atwater Village with a look at what's being done to help the people living there. Josh. Michelle, L.A. saw a spike in homelessness last year by 20 percent, and for years, the homeless have been attracted to camping out along the L.A. River away from populated streets, as we give you a live look from our ABC 7 drone. Now, with river cleanup efforts at an all-time high, so are plans to find the homeless permanent housing. The homeless encampment that grew to roughly a thousand people along the Santa Ana River Trail in Orange County created health, environmental and public safety issues. In neighboring L.A. County, the homeless have lived along the L.A. River for decades. But City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, whose district includes part of the river, sees a big difference in the approach from local governments. That didn't happen on its own. That happened because there was no one watching uh, that I think put any attention or care uh, into dealing with that. The city of L.A. is pouring millions into restoring the L.A. River, which includes everything from offering kayaking and bike paths to cleaning up garbage and homeless encampments. We will have the occasional encampment that will spread and partially block the path or whatever, but we send teams out to deal with it immediately so it doesn't fester. This camp existed along the five freeway in Elysian Village for a few months, but thanks to outreach teams from the city who worked to clear encampments and find the homeless permanent housing, it's now gone. But Ken Babel, who lives a block from the river, worries the homeless will just move to another location. I think it can happen here. Uh, it's really a, a tough job. The outreach can help. But we probably need more uh, affordable housing for, for that population. We're seeing the big tent cities, uh, you know, and um, how, how large is it going to get and how, how bad is the problem going to get uh, with the, uh, the drugs and the trash. Robert Vance walks along the river in northeast Los Angeles every day and says he's amazed at how clean the area is. He understands why the homeless would want to live in an area this pristine. If you don't have any other place to go and it's the only place of peace, I can understand why people who want to congregate here. It's just, you know, making sure that the city officials do everything that they can possibly do to make sure that this area stays, you know, clean and peaceful and um, a family neighborhood. Back out here live as we show you another view from our ABC 7 drone over the L.A. River. Now, the mayor's proposed budget would provide $430 million to help the homeless with a focus on permanent housing. Councilman O'Farrell tells me that he'd like to build that permanent housing along the river corridor.